Hello guys, today I'm going to show you uh, how to port for your RuneScape private server. Uh, so let's start. First of all, you go to start button and then you write in CMD, enter, and then you write into CMD, I, B, con, V. Then you go up, scroll up, and you have to, and you find your default gateway. Uh, my one's 192.0. 168.0.1 So then you go to your web browser and you write it in here and the default username is admin and the default password is password uh, Once you're in here um, mine is just up the snake here wireless skate or voice gateway cbg8 to OG. Once you're in here and you have the same one, then you're lucky. Um, you go to firewall rules and then you add in custom rules RSPS and in start port 43594 and the end port is 43594 and the prop port is TCP. The local IP address. Now you go back to your CMD and you find your IPv4 address. Uh, mine's 192.168.0.12. Uh, so then you only write the last number, 12, uh, and then you click add. Uh, so once it's added, you click here. Uh, well, you need so then you click log, you log out. Thank you for using it gear. Wireless cable gateway for configuration. Goodbye. Uh, you close that. Now you go to your web browser again and you write Google and you write in and uh, hyphen IP and you click the first link and you click sign in and if you don't have an account, click sign up for an account. Uh, so I'm gonna log, log in into mine. Uh, so uh, then once you're on the home page, not home page, the account of yours, you click on add post. Uh, first thing you're gonna look here is click on this button, and then you're gonna change it to no-ip.biz. The host name you put your own whatever you want to call your runescape private server you put it uh, i'm gonna call mine um technology tutorial technology or just for technology uh, technology and then you click add host uh, so once it's added you click download client and you download it but i've already have it so once you you have it, you write you open your start and you write in N O I P. You download it and you say launch uh, D U C. You make sure you enable that and you launch it. And you click here and it will tell you to log in. So you log in. Okay. Once you're in here, you click edit hosts. And then you tick the one that you just added and you click save and it doesn't uh, now you close it, go to your RuneScape private server and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make one too. I'm gonna have this source in the description below of the link. You click on source and you write in here setting the java oh wait oh so server java it depends if you have notepad plus plus then uh then you're okay but i'll you can do either one notepad or notepad plus plus i like going to plus 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 more organized and i'll put the link in this, this the description 
you go to the bottom until you find the server listing on port 127.0.0.0.01 you delete that and you put the host you just once let it go and you add in the host the host you just let take mark each save here and then it's saved uh, so then you go back and you run well you compile it uh, so this you right click it and if you have six jdk six or seven it doesn't matter i'll just put the updated for you guys um jdk six oops 18 Uh, this server has errors um, but you guys can fix them or you can get another source and do the same thing as I did and you run the server uh, once it's run you go back and you click client and you run the client Uh, this is not my source and oh, I'm just gonna log in oh, so there we go we logged in into the server um, so I just taught you how to port forward and how to make a RuneScape private server and I'll have the links in the description for this RuneScape Pipe server or you can choose any and follow the same steps as I did um, so that's all um, next episode I'll probably show you how to make a 562 RuneScape Pipe server uh, so once you've done that I'll just stream my 562 private server um, just close this Get private server is gonna come soon. This is how long my get private server is going to come. You log in. Uh, I'm still coding it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, please click that subscribe button.